Welcome back. Uh, this is Pre-Calculus 12, still with Learning Guide 2. This is part 2 now. So let's try this question here. So we have a function, <clears throat> but in this case, we don't have it in y equals form. So we have to do a little bit of work first to get into y equals, and then we can do our factoring to describe, and then to sketch. Okay, so let's move this guy over to that side. So we got y equals 2 bracket 2x plus 4 minus 2. Now before we can map and describe, we have to factor. This guy right here. So let's factor that. So it's 2, another bracket, 2. Because 2 times 2 is 4. And now we are ready for mapping, because mapping helps us sketch. Okay, but we need to get our base points, so really important. So we're dealing with a function of an x squared, so we're really dealing with this guy. Okay, that's the original, stripped down. So let's get our base points. So we know from previous examples that we have 0, 0. We have 1 and 1, we have negative 1 and 1, and we have 2 and 2, and we have negative 2. Oops, that's supposed to be 4, pardon me. And 4. Okay, so now we can map. Okay, so let's deal within the bracket. And this guy, remember, it's going to uh, reciprocate. So we got 1 half x subtract 2 because it's the opposite of that guy and these guys deal with the y so it's 2y minus 2 okay plug and chug time so this is 0 is going to go into there so it's negative 2 this 1 goes into there into that x so that's half of 1 is 0. 0.5 so negative 1.5 negative 1 goes into this x so negative 1, half of that is negative. So it's negative 2.5. 2 goes into there, so it's negative 1. Negative 2 goes into negative 1, so it's negative 3. Now this 0 goes into there, so it's negative 2. This 1 goes into there. It's going to be 0, 0. This 4 is going to go into there. That's 8, 6, and 6. Now we are ready to sketch. So we got negative 2, negative 2. We got negative 1.5 and 0. And that's negative 2.5 and 0, negative 1 and 6, and 3 and 6. And there is our sketch. All right. OK, let's look at example 2 now. So in this situation, we are given a function, and it wants to do this transformation of the function. So we have to rewrite it first, then we can describe. Okay, so really important, this right here I'll highlight in yellow. That is your x. Just remember, that's your x. So that's going to go into this x spot. So I know it's going to be 2f, big bracket, and put the 4 and the x plus 1 there, and then it's got this plus 1 on the end. All right, so that's how we rewrite it. And then we can see what's going on. Well, we know that it's going left one unit. It's going up one unit. It's going a horizontal compression by one-fourth and a vertical expansion by, oops, by two. Okay. And this is the same thing. Okay, so it's going to be y equals bracket square 2x plus 2 
plus the one outside, and then we factor and then we can describe. All right, these situations, these examples, now are, are given a graph and we have to write an equation. So it's the reverse. So the first thing, and you gotta look for it right away, is really important. Are there any reflections? Okay, so in this situation up here, there's no reflections, okay? But you wanna look for that first. Okay, the second thing, okay, that's number one. Number two is you want to find invariant point. Find invariant point. And those are X or Y intercepts. Okay, in our example here, it has an invariant point right there. Okay, and it happens to be both X and Y intercepts. So that helps us out pretty good because that'll help us get the H and the K. Okay, so let's look at the H. Let's see what's moving horizontally. Well, we're going from there to there. So we know it's going one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we can say it's seven units left, okay? And the K is two, we can say two units up, okay? Now, once you've got the invariant point, which gives you the H and K, the third thing you wanna do is get the dimensions, do the, do the stretching. Okay, the A and the B. Okay, what I do is I write down the information so that I can see it. So I take the measurement of this, which is eight units. I take the measure of that, it's two units. So right off the bat, I know it's got a horizontal compression by, it's going from eight down to two, so it's four. So I know the B is going to be four. Okay, it's got a vertical, so up and down, so it's going four to eight. Vertical expansion by two, so that means the A is two. So now we basically got all the points, the A, B, C, so, so we got the two, the function, four bracket X plus seven, because it's going left, and plus two, or you can write it as two F, you can rainbow that in, and they are both correct. Okay, this example is a tricky one because it has reflections. So this one, we're gonna have to really concentrate on the invariant points. So you can see it's reflecting on the x-axis because it's pointing up, pointing down, and it's reflecting on the y-axis. So it's got both reflections, okay? So we remember those negative signs. So I'll just say reflections. Don't forget negative signs. Okay, so right off the bat, okay, so we know we have to pick an invariant point. So we know that this x-intercept right here, this is gonna help us with the k, the up and down. Okay, so this point, where does it line up with? So you know it's been reflected both ways, so it lines up with this one, okay? So that goes up, 
seven units. So I know that my k is seven, or we can say up seven units. Okay. Now I need to take the y-intercept right there of the original one, and that one it coincides with this point right here. Okay, because it's flipped both ways. So how far is that gone? So this is going to be our H. Well, that's gone four units. It's four. Or we can say left four units. Okay. Okay, stretching. So again, let's do the horizontal from there all the way to there. It's 12 units and from there all the way across is one two three four five six units so i know it's got a horizontal and it's compressed by a half okay so therefore i know that the b is going to be two Okay, so we got to do the A now. Okay, vertically, so we're going from there all the way down to there, that's 10 units. And from there down to there is five units. Well, that is a vertical compression by a half, so the A is a half. All right. So now that I have all the ingredients, so I have my A, my B, my H, and my K, I have the answer. But don't forget the negative signs. So y equals negative one half f negative two. And then we are going left, so it's x plus four. And then up seven units, seven. And there's the answer.